Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another video. And so as evidenced by the logo here, I'm reviewing yet another EXA uh, branded pair of audio paraphernalia, I guess you could call it. So I was actually really happy with the uh, pair of gaming headset that they uh, they sent me last time. And I noted I wanted something that could also connect over Bluetooth and whatnot. And so they said, actually, we do also sell uh, just like true wireless earbuds uh, that kind of might be more up my alley. And so I said I'd be happy to take a look at them. And just looking at the the picture itself, it's, it's actually kind of hard to see because it's a little bit glossy. Uh, but this looks like if Alienware made a pair of earbuds, like true wireless earbuds, it, it looks like this would be them. They're very alien looking, I guess you could say. It's very like futuristic, kind of pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we'll get into these in a sec. The model number on these are the GT1. And these are mar marketed as gaming wireless earbuds. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, because they also have uh, very low latency, which the other pair of headphones I reviewed also were um, pretty low latency. So this is uh, marked as 38 milliseconds. Uh, it doesn't really matter so much for watching movies and TV shows and stuff like YouTube videos and stuff like that. But if you wanted to use these for gaming, yeah, that, that would actually be something that's significantly important. Uh, they have touch sensitive um, like buttons. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see how and where those are placed. And uh, it's marked as, I'm even having trouble saying that, a 500 milliamp hour battery and runtime, I guess with the case, uh, 36 hours. Ultra long life battery will be the judge of that. In here, we can see Bluetooth 5. That's nice to see. Uh, in addition to that, each earphone has a 50 milliamp hour battery and like it said, 500 for the entire case itself. And yeah. Their packaging is always really nice. And uh, I really like like their logo and kind of the aesthetic design of their packaging. Anyway, we'll just get into here. Um, you can just see their logo here and a kind of glossy outline of what the case looks like. Uh, let's see, how does this... Ah, magnets. How do they work? Anyway, very nice packaging here. Got a little bit thrown around in the mail, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing this piece was supposed to be holding it in place. Uh, we can pull out the buds themselves. And let's see, probably obligatory uh, charging cable. And how do I, there we go. Yeah, just a little bit of cardboard and holding everything in. We have the manual, which let's see anything else that we don't know already. Looks like they also went with Type-C charging for this, so that's a nice addition. How to pair, et cetera, et cetera. Let's see. Yeah, it comes with three different sizes of ear pad. And so, yeah, okay. So here's what I was looking for. So you can power on and off manually, pressing and holding five seconds for 10 seconds. That'll shut them off or uh, clear the pairing. I guess that's to like reset the buds. And three seconds will uh, play or pause, I guess. That's interesting. Three times tap opens up your voice assistant. Two times will uh, go to previous track. Press for two seconds will switch between uh, the latency mode, whether it's just for music or the low latency for gaming. And tap once to play pause. Uh, there's a lot... <laughs> I guess for every single mode, there's, the buttons do slightly different things. That That's kind of going to get a little confusing. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way to adjust the volume uh, on the buds themselves, which I like when manufacturers allow you to do that. It's just a nicety. It's not necessary, but makes my life a little bit easier. Anyway, in the little baggie, we have the world's shortest USB-C cable, which is probably only about four inches. <laughs> I mean, at least they provide these in, in the off chance that these are relatively the early days of USB-C, so not everyone has a drawer full of these by now, so I guess at least they provide you with one. And the little ear pads, uh, these are the small and the larges. I'm guessing the mediums are in there. And there is a significant size difference between them. <laughs> 
And let's look at the buds themselves. They come in this case, which I'll be honest, this is a chonker. Let me stick this in my pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this case looks very interesting. Looks like Superman's earbuds, if he had any. Uh, but it's pretty massive, I'll be honest. Especially, like, from the, the widest point to the tallest point to the bottom. That's like a good inch and a half-ish. Maybe an inch and a quarter. But, yeah. I'll, I'll leave it to actually using it to make a judgment call on that. We have the buds themselves. Uh, there's a little bit of friction in the door, um, but it doesn't like snap open. Uh, it doesn't have like a detent, but it also isn't going to flop shut on you. So I th think that's fine. There's a satisfying magnetic click when it shuts, which I, n I already know I'm going to keep playing with this. And, uh, it doesn't keep turning itself on while you're playing with this. So I can keep on doing this and it's not going to run the battery down. So that's a good sign. Let's see, we have the buds themselves, which just sit in here, just from, mm, yeah, they're not particularly hard to pull out. I have small fingers, so if you have like massive fingers, it might be a little bit annoying. They don't give you quite as much room as some of the other ones. They're, they only stick out a little bit at the very top there, so it might be an issue for some people. I, I'm fine with that. We have the two little uh, charging little contacts there and kind of this big cavity where the earbuds themselves go into, they recess into. And we have the, I guess, like the charging icons and power indicator on either side. And it looks like there's four segments. But yeah, let's uh, peel off. There's a protective film just to keep the buds from powering on during transit. Okay. Let's stick them in and see if they come charged or what. Look at that. <laughs> they look like angry little eyes. That's a very interesting design that they have going on. Uh, it definitely looks like a face. And here we have, I don't know if that's individual LEDs or if that's just one. Uh, as of right now, they're just lit up very cool blue color very futuristic it would be very neat if you could change the uh the color if they had rgb leds in but that that's that's not functional and that won't make a functional difference it's just aesthetic but know, yeah i'm gonna actually plug these into charge because i don't know when they were last charged i'm gonna plug them in over USB C, use them for a bit oh looks like either the battery's dead or they fully charged already <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to actually give these a listen, give these a try out, and uh, let you guys know what my findings are. Okay, I just plugged them in. I'm actually wrong. These are actually segmented, and so they will show you the battery life in 25% increments. That is awesome. <laughs> just so I have an idea. So it's saying that, um, I'm guessing because it's plugged into the case right now, the case has over 75% battery life remaining. That's cool. Didn't know that. Okay, so we are back. Now I've been using this guy, I'll admit, I kind of uh, took a little longer to to review this guy just because I received it just before the holiday season and it's been a super busy month for me. And it usually is this time of year and I'm pretty clear uh, to let anyone know if, if they're expecting me to do anything that, you know, it's it's a holiday time. It might be delayed. So anyway, it's about like almost halfway through January. So I've had this guy for about like a month and a half ish. And I actually have used this guy uh, quite a bit. And things that I found during use. Yeah, let's just see if hopefully there's. Yeah, there you go. It's got a charge. So I kept rambling on and on uh, when I unboxed this that this looked like an alien to me. And apparently as evidenced by kind of the, the code name for this, uh, these are supposed to be like Cobras. And so let's just get them to, to switch on. Those are the eyes and I guess like the eyebrow ridge and fangs. I don't know. They still kind of look like aliens to me <laughs> anyway. So in use things that I really like about this, these have a pretty solid battery life. So 
I tend to wear earbuds kind of for long periods of time. I'm mostly a programmer. I work in R&D. So I do some hardware, some software. And so I'll usually be sitting down in front of a computer for, you know, a couple hours at a time. And so these guys are rated for, they say six hours, and I could totally see them getting that. I didn't time exactly on average how long I was getting, but just from the feeling of like when I look at the clock, uh, these guys definitely exceeded five hours. A lot of the time that I would be sitting down with these on, I would just have uh, streaming music on. I wouldn't have them particularly loud, maybe like 40% volume, something like that. Uh, yeah, they just kept trucking. And anytime that I you know, had a meeting to go to or something, I would just put them back in the case and they'd be fully recharged by the time I was done, like, you know, probably about an hour later or so. Uh, so yeah, they, they seem to recharge pretty quickly. They hold a decent charge. Um, these will get you m most of the way through a work day uh, just with the charge in the earbuds, which is pretty impressive. And a couple times I had coworkers walk up and ask me about uh, what these, you know, well, they knew what they were, but they asked me about like, what brand is this? This looks really cool. They thought it was like Razor or something like that. Very futuristic design. And I especially love that they didn't go with regular blue LEDs. These are kind of slightly aqua-ish and they look really cool. I really love that about them. The audio quality is actually pretty good as well. The codecs that I, I generally listen to this uh, through were like SBC. So you're pretty much capped in terms of like the audio quality. So I, don't get these expecting like audio file quality sound, obviously. Uh, but they sounded really good for most of the things I listened to, which would be like alternative music, rock, uh, some indie stuff, some like acoustic guitar. Uh, they sounded really good with uh, watching movies and like YouTube videos on these as well. Uh, they have a good amount of bass, but it's it's definitely not overpowering. And I, I did enjoy that. It's, it's a bit easier listening. I really like fun, punchy, bassy headphones, but they do fatigue your ears out. And I'll I'll wear those while watching like an action movie or something. But I'll take headphones like that off and I'll put something like these on when I just want casual listening that I can listen to for hours at a time without fatiguing my ears. So these are these are really good actually for like general purpose use, I would say. Despite them being marketed as like gaming earbuds, uh, I can definitely see using these just kind of for casual listening, I would say. Uh, the thing that I kind of, I really want to like about these, but I, I don't, is the case. <laughs> Uh, you stick this in your pocket and it's super awkward. You have a giant triangular Superman shaped hump sticking out of your thigh. And it's just, yeah, I, I understand why they did that. So there's actually a pretty sizable battery in here. Uh, and the earbuds themselves, uh, they definitely have some, some girth to them. So they couldn't make the case like super thin. Uh, but at the same point in time, it's just... Even like the lid has, it's basically mostly air. There's a cutout for the buds themselves, but it's just too large to be pocketable, in my opinion. Uh, these are good, I would say, as a desktop pair of headphones. You just leave the case on your desk. And I guess that sort of fits with their target audience, gamers. Uh, if you're going to be, you know, playing a computer game or something like that, you don't really need to carry these around with you, so... I guess that's okay for that situation. For me, uh, I would like to actually, you know, walk around with these in my pocket and the case is just prohibitively too large to do so. Uh, so unfortunately, these are relegated to desk, um, like easy listening, long periods of time headphones for me. Uh, you are a gamer. I, I didn't notice anything. I didn't actually play games with these. I, I usually don't wear headphones while playing games, oddly enough. I'll usually just have them on speaker so I can actually hear without anything on my head at all. I don't see any potential issues from the, the testing that I did for media. I don't think it'd be that far off from what you'd be listening to with in-game soundtracks and whatnot. So I really like that there's USB-C for charging. That's really super convenient. And I will say, because they made the case so large, uh, could, couldn't they have put, please, a little wireless charger pad on the bottom so you could just plop it onto a wireless charger at night and then just have it charge? That would have been a cherry on top. Now, I will say, so as of the making of this video, 
Uh, I just checked like this morning and they are running a sale on these and I I think it was like 40 I want to say 46 bucks something like that which is actually pretty good I would say uh the last pair of headphones they sent me I I kind of knocked a little bit for them being a little bit pricey those were about about 100 bucks uh, definitely I could see like in the range of I, I think the ideal price for true wireless earbuds are in the range from about like 40 to 60 or 70 dollars anything more than that and I would expect like really good performance or like you know a feature set that a lot of these don't have uh, but anything under like about 60 dollars but above 40 if you get too cheap then you get the ones that are super plasticky, uh, really bad battery life, don't sound great at all. They kind of look terrible. They they stick out of ears a lot. They make you look like an idiot. Uh, but in this price range, I think is ideal. And pricing these at like that $50 mark around that is actually a really good deal in my opinion. Uh, I would definitely pick these up. Um, if they were a little bit more expensive than that, I'd have to think about it, honestly. Because there's a lot of true wireless earbuds coming out and a lot of companies that are kind of building their reputation on, uh, you know, true wireless earbuds. So you got to do every little thing you can to differentiate yourself from from it. And this does this by style alone. This definitely differentiates. I've never seen another pair of wireless earbuds uh, that look like these. Uh, so definitely kudos on that. And I think the price point is is pretty good as well, just under $50. So yeah, in terms of comfort, I've had no issues. I ended up going with, um, I believe it was the, maybe the medium or the smallest pair of pads. I generally don't want perfect sealing of sound uh, in my ears. Uh, it tends to get a little funky then because I wear them for so long period of time and I'm also wearing them generally in like a, uh, a manufacturing floor kind of industrial environment I don't want them to seal perfectly and these work just great for me they stick in my ears like I'm wearing them right now I'm shaking my head around you can't see any of this but yeah it's these will not fall out I could probably run with these Sorry to EXA for taking so long for doing this uh, review, but a uh, huge thanks for them for sending in the GT1s. So no, yeah, if you guys are interested, I will have links uh, down below to the sales page. And as I said, it's currently on sale, so definitely are a very sharp pair of earbuds. <laughs> sort of like a viper, I guess. Arr, feed me. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.